Hey there, everybody. It's Lori McLean. Welcome to another episode of RA Raw. It's been a minute since I've released a new one, and in today's episode, I am going to be talking about joy and why it is so important to find the joy in our world right now. So, in the last episode, I discussed vibration and how it's important as people with chronic pain to keep our vibration relatively high, or at least to try, you know, to not let it slip down into the lower the lower area. Um, and I, I named off the things that, you know, can bring your vibration down. I named some things that uh, you can do to help raise your vibration. Well, lo and behold, when I was done filming that video, released it and, you know, just put it out there and finished doing all of the um, somewhat promotional things that I always do, I found that I kind of slipped a little low. My vibration itself began to go down, 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 and I really lost my creative want. Now, creativity is something that I find um, really fuels me. I really enjoy making these videos. I really enjoy editing them. And I also really enjoy just having this communication with you all. I think it's extremely important, especially right now, for everyone to stay as communicate in communication. And um, I, I just, I ended up kind of losing that a little bit. It wasn't because I was focusing too much on news. It wasn't because I was, you know, doing any of those things that that I suggested not doing, but it's just, you know, the overall feeling in our world right now is a little heavier. It's uh, a little sadder, a little darker. And so I want to talk to you all today about where you can find that joy in our world and really how to focus on the things that, that bring you joy and how to make those an everyday part of your life. wake up first thing in the morning. Um, you know, be very aware of the thoughts that you have. Be very aware of where your mind is at when you wake up first thing in the morning. And then of course, once you're out of bed, continue to do those things and focus on those things that bring you joy. of us in this world right now, we are constantly bombarded by numbers and the numbers can get you down. Because as I mentioned in the last video, we're not really hearing what the good numbers are, right? We're not hearing the number of people that have recovered. We're not hearing those things that we so desperately need to hear right now. What's the forefront of every news broadcast, whether you're listening to the radio and the news pops on? I don't know about you guys, but here in my little city, our news on the radio is now called COVID update. And there's just no way of not hearing about it. It's on the forefront of everyone's mind. You know, when we go out to do our regular shopping, um, it's hard not to get overwhelmed. It's hard to not... Think of it and dread it, really, honestly, right? Because when we go out, there's so many things that we have to remember. I mean, right now, as it is at this moment, we even have to be careful about which way we go down the aisle at the grocery store because there's arrows pointing, you know, and God forbid you go the wrong way. I think what's happening is we've kind of got this veil of sadness, of darkness, and of low energy. But it's really important that we bust out of that. So do the things that bring you joy. For me, going outside and being part of nature, smelling the fresh cut grass now, thankfully where I am, it's really beautiful outside now. Everything's in, you know, the, the trees have leaves and the grass is growing and the and flowers are starting to merge, emerge. And really everything's just starting to come to life. And that to me brings me joy. I knew, I recognized where I was, you know, I just was really content just to 
basically numb myself in a way. Um, I found myself watching a lot of Netflix and TV and just really becoming so sedentary. And it's important to stay active on some level, no matter what. You know, I have um, We Fit, and I, you know, when that came out years ago, I loved it. And it was something that I looked forward to doing in the mornings. And it really became a part of my life. And then I just, I got away from it. Well, I dug that We Fit out again, and I, I now, you know, will use it in the mornings again, just to get my heart pumping and to f get that blood flowing and get those really good endorphins moving. I also recently, <laughs> I downloaded TikTok and it's it's complete entertainment for me. Um, there's some really great things on there that just make you laugh and there's some really wonderful recipes as well. You know, people are being really creative right now and that is so important. So that's the other thing. Try and tap into that creative part of yourself. Now is the time to do that discovering. And as I always mention, and it seems like every episode, I talk about meditation. Well, I'm going to be uploading some meditations again in the next couple of weeks here, some new meditations, the ones that will help you find the joy, that will make you feel good. I think that's really, really important as well, you know, because what we put in our subconscious mind, it's there all day long. It's there all night long. It's constantly playing in the background. And so if you've seen something negative that day online, if you've watched one thing about this virus and it was really negative, that stays in your subconscious and it ruminates back there. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like your brain and your, your emotional center just marinates in it all day, all night, forever. So it's so, so important. I can't stress this enough to take in that happier, lighter material. Now, of course, I know some people are going to say, but we have to be aware of what's going on. Yes, we do. We absolutely need to be aware, but take it in small, small little pieces. It might take a really good scrub down and figuring out what you are doing in your world that might be bringing your vibration and your joy down. So everyone, just a really short little compact video about joy today. Next week, we'll talk about something else. Not everything is going to be about this virus right now. You will see maybe some lighter things come from me. You will see just completely different things come from me than what you have been. I've had a couple of ideas over the last few days that I would like to try out and see if you all are interested in. So Teespring, you know I have some RA Raw merchandise that I, that I sell on there. And I've just opened a new store and it's called Tittles Magoo. Here's a look at Tittles. So, Tittles, where does it come from? Well, my dad used to call me Tittles when I was a little girl, and my aunt called me Magoo. So I merged those two nicknames, and I came up with Tittles Magoo. Just kind of a fun, badass, alter ego. It's a way for me to express things. It's a way for me to create, and it's a way for me to have fun. And I hope you check it out. Until the end of May, May 31st, I am offering 25% over on the Tittles Magoo page. Take a look. This is some of the things that I've been creating. So that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. I hope you learned something and I hope you will take a moment, take some time during your day to really look for the joy in your world. Everybody take care and I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.